Lithium Power has announced a significant resource upgrade for their Maricunga Lithium Brine project in Chile. Importantly, this resource upgrade confirmed Maricunga will be a long-life, low-cost lithium brine operation. This has resulted in our valuation increasing to $1.24 per share. This increase was due to an extension in our mine life assumption, as all other assumptions remained unchanged. This is an excellent result for lithium power as it surpassed our expectations. More importantly, whilst the size of the resource increased, it was not at the expense of the resource grade, as Maricunga remains one of the highest grade lithium brine projects globally. As mentioned, this resource upgrade has increased our mine life assumption to around 26 years. Importantly, this does not account for the significant expiration potential, which was highlighted earlier in the year when a single deep drill hole extended the known mineralized zone to around 360 meters, or around 160 meters deeper than the maximum depth of the current resource. When this expiration potential is combined with the current resource, it is probable in our opinion that an increased throughput scenario compared to our current assumption will be considered in the future. And whilst we doubt this will occur in the initial build, as the company is likely to keep capital expenditure at a minimum, it is probable production could be expanded in the future with development to be funded through free cash flow. This could be as much as double our base case assumption given the mine life potential. While speculative investors have taken a breather in recent times, strategic and long-term investors continue to take positions in Tier 1 assets. Locally, this has seen Pilbara Minerals recently raise more than $200 million for the development of their Pilgangura project. Whilst in Chile, it has been reported Chinese private equity firm GSR Capital will potentially invest $1.9 billion into SQM for a 20% interest in the company. We believe this continued investment in high quality lithium projects bodes well for lithium power as they move towards releasing their feasibility study next quarter. In our opinion, Maricunga not only meets all of the criteria to become a producing asset within the near future, but pending the study, could now be considered one of the best undeveloped lithium brine projects globally. And unless the significant discount to our current valuation reduces, potential major suitors that are already moving into Chile are likely to take a closer look at the Maricunga project.